Hunter is double team is based on his aura, not the damage it does. It's actually a really devastating kill move. If uh, oh, never mind. All right, oh. okay. That's yeah. Yeah. I I, I apologize deeply. I am in. <laughs> Whatever that was, semis mode. No, we are actually seeing the BB hero. I haven't seen it in a while, so really cool to see it coming out, and especially for this matchup, very interesting. Yeah, with the Lucario buffs, I saw him go Lucario. He got first Lucario win against Numbers, I believe, last Xeno, you know, but um, he's been a bit more confident in the solo Lucario. That being said, I can I can see why you don't want to do Lucario Pac-Man for sure. I also see why you would go Hero, and I think it looks yeah. something like that circle that was <laughs> surrounding him. If you get balance on that menu, that shuts down so much of what Pac-Man wants to do. Yeah, that is a powerful circle right there, and one that Pac-Man wants to stay out of. But, ooh, look at that, catching the fadeaway with the Accelerado on that trampoline. Sinji aware of that, but still, this is a huge lead right here. It is a really big lead, and, but this is the sort of thing where we're now getting, oh man, bounces once more into effect. And this is the sort of percent where it's like Sinji would normally love to break out the Galaxian and you know, get some nice juicy 50% combo, but you can't do that. Like you have to box with your admittedly pretty good Pac-Man normals, but like he still is a sword. It's Pac-Man normals, but in a situation where Sinji or where Vivi knows that he cannot get hit unless he um he cannot get hit if he keeps doing fade back swords. So as good as uh Pac-Man's normals are, Vivi's playing in a range where the only way he would get hit is with projectiles when he has bounce. And because of that, um able to keep the strong percent lead and now this any move can really kill Pac-Man right here. I think this is both uh at the same time the Accelerado. Look at his MP. If Sinji sends him off stage and manages to like keep him out there for a little bit, he could die. Okay, now MP is back to like safer zones. But if uh bounce runs out, he's looking for it. Oh, yeah, he's being very liberal with his MP despite how uh you know the the, the low it is here. I think he knows that Sinji isn't really going to ever be rushing him down too extensively. And because of that, it's comfortable kind of sitting in shield at like 10 MP and laying a recharge. Now at 26, could be able to go, go to the menu again soon or even use that side B. Now pack to four. Yeah, I mean, it's... And yeah, you're right that Sinji in that situation, another player might have been like, oh, he's at four MP. I need to go in right now. But Sinji is he's patient. He's not going to fall for, like, a bait like that or anything. You know, even if the opportunity presents itself, and like, unless he's sure it's guaranteed, he's not going to overextend into it. And oh. one, one other thing about overextending to Hero with low MP, if they read your approach and, like, get a pivot grab or a fading, uh, fading like, aerial, that's more MP being yeah. charged. And then you're back to the square one, and now a Hero's close to you with MP and has momentum. And now look at this, almost lapping in percent. Yeah. Oh, and there actually comes the lap. Sinji really struggling to end this stock. Not only end this stock, but get anything really started here. Because Vivi has been... Look at that. Once more, if he hits Sinji even once, that gives him the chance to cycle for balance. And then once he does, the neutral becomes so, so much harder for Pac-Man. <laughs> he knew it was going to run out right there. Did he react to that, or did he just know? Uh, he might just know. I feel like... This is a matchup Sinji might not quite enjoy, and because of that, has been able to like force to learn um, timings like that. But you gotta learn how to yeah. tech against any character. Missing the tech on that LB, and this is just such a dominant lead, especially with how VB's playing. You know, he's not giving Sinji anything for free. He's standing in shield, waiting to get. Uh, waiting to get bounce and then just uh, forcing Sinji to go in. And because of that, I, I really cannot see how Sinji's making this up. <laughs> yeah, especially because Sinji as a player, you know, he can make comebacks for sure, but they take time. <laughs> and we are now approaching the three minute mark and there's only so much time Sinji can take here. And the more time, the more spells Hero has a chance to throw That's out. True. RNG becomes less and less of a factor, actually, with more time because he yeah. has has the ability to find whatever he wants. And look at that, up tilt killing sub 100 with that much rage and psych up. Yeah. Dominating three stock. I wonder if we're going to see the Sora, the Sinji Sora. He's been tweeting about it. That's I mean, this true. is like his dream character. I thought he was going to go all Sora today, but we're seeing the Pac Man. Ah, I, think I that, would be surprised. I think, that considering the caliber of players that are here, you know, winning a Xeno like this would be a real feather in his cap. 
Um, mm -hmm. So I think he's going full out, you know, not going to mess around too much with the Sora secondary. But he's spending a lot of time with this character select screen, so you might be right here. At the very least, he's contemplating it, but it is going to be the Pac-Man once more. Uh, not confident enough in that Sora counterpick. I think he feels like there were just things that he did wrong. It wasn't necessarily as kind of yucky as that matchup looked. It was not uh, Pac-Man's fault. Oh, he just needs to fix it. And bounce right off the bat. Look at this. So strong for Vivi. But look at this. Sinji actually using dash attack, you know? You cannot reflect a Pac-Man chomping at you, but you can bear it. Yeah, and I love this, like, kind of back and forth counter. <gasps> wow, the close. timing! <laughs> Man. But anyway, so you're 100% right about that and how... It's felt like Sinji, you know, started using his normals, and then instantly, as soon as Vivi saw that, started going for normals with extra range of his own. Yeah, I totally agree with what you were saying, where Sinji just has to totally change everything about what he did last game. I mean, he got three stocks last game, you know, so you were doing something wrong, clearly, and I think he is changing that right here, because, well, going back to target projectile right now, but that's only, like, the second time he's done that, when normally, by this point in the game, he would have gotten, like, 20 bells. Uh, so he's clearly switching things up a little bit. Look at this, Vivi, six mana off stage, two. Oh, he's at 12, so he should be able to make it back, especially if he finds Zoom in the blast zone. But nonetheless, he puts himself at the ledge once more. Wow, the 157. I will say, though, let's not forget, Hero has some real comeback potential. Just, you know, especially with, like, uh, the oomph. If yeah. he pulls that, it might be worth going for it, just because that could be a way to kill Sinji right now. Psych up as well, and the bounce on deck. Sinji going to have to be smart here. Honestly, might be in his best interest to just wait this out, because yeah. of, of Vivi's percent... Oh. Wow, Sinji's been really oh clutch at these times. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea how he's managing to neutral get him through every single one of these projectiles. Now bounce not on deck, but going high for recovery. Normally that oh, could be a pretty good idea, but when you do it against Hero, you give him time to use his menu. That F tilt was so clutch because that could have been very easily going oh, the other yeah. way. And I was going to mention that, uh, so Bounce is good at every percent. Bye bye Pac-Man. One of the only characters in the game without a death scream off the top. Um, but uh, yeah, so Bounce is really bad, you know, for Pac-Man pretty much at any time, but especially at kill percents, because normally that's where, it's, you know, the projectiles really come become important. Things like Bell, things like Apple, things like Key. So if you don't have access to that, what moves does Pac-Man actually have to kill at that point? Exactly, you know? yeah. You would need, like, an F-Smash read, uh, which is a very strong or move, but still. Or F-Tilt Yeah, or, or F-Tilt at 190. That means that... This switch up of the new and improved Sinji is working out. 84% and he's just scrapping, honestly. And you can do that with Pac-Man. Zoners in this game have hands, whether you like it or not. It is a, uh, an interesting <laughs> philosophy to give all of the zoners like a frame three option. Especially Val, but... <laughs> yeah. He's not on the screen right now. So we'll, we'll, we'll keep positive vibes as Sinji charges the fruit, gain a rare opportunity where VB has to recover and gives Sinji free time. Yeah, that MP once again looking low, and he's forced to use it in order to get back to the stage. Zoom has been really helping him out, honestly. He could be making it back with the up B, but it's preserving MP and managing to avoid a ledge trap situation, which look at what happens once he's forced to do it. Oh, clutch zoom for MP now, and still no bounce. Sinji can be, feel free to use Bell, use Hydra right here. Yeah, I, how much? Do you know how much bounce costs? Uh, very, <gasps> probably very little, if I have to guess. I feel like the buffs are not too costly compared to like the killing spells, but uh, I cannot tell you an exact amount. And there it is once again, the bounce, and this is the sort of thing where Sinji is probably like, oh, I guess I have to kill with F tilts again. Hey, this you can, though. <laughs> How are you going to have to him? He's too fast. He's too zoomy. Oh, and this is scary. Zinji could die here, and all this hard work would go to waste. Bounce off deck, but now on ledge, giving uh, Vivi time to menu again. Oh, Ooh, this is bad. Accelerado becomes so much scarier when uh, Sinji is off stage. And once... Oh, what a... Interesting land on the platform in the end. Sinji manages to take the stock regardless. I think he has actually a key. If I uh, am correct here. Interesting that low percent he's opting for the key. Normally that's something you don't see him go for until late points are like very high percent. So, all right here, and this is, I feel like, um, 
honestly, this is uh, Sinji's game to lose because you kind of have to keep your same like game plan going of this like boxing and such. But you also just have to be consistent with it because this, I feel like Pac-Man can win the war of attrition, but Hero can win the war of comeback. So you, you can't really falter for Sinji even with this lead. Yeah, this still requires so much presence of mind, and you can see that Sinji has it right now. The patience, the careful play. Once again, the bounce is in effect, and I like this. setting up the hydrant because, you know, it'll create some space. You know, just count down on the timer of that bounce. And as a result, yeah, bounce is now expired. He can start going for those projectiles again. No kill throw on uh, Hero means that Sinji's going to be surviving even at 165. Yeah, not without Psych up, but that dash attack has been getting punished uh, quite a bit, and that fair coming in clutch. Ooh, and if you're Sinji, you want to close this out soon, you know? Or, or you could have time out. <laughs> That's <laughs> Did true. Not look yeah, at the we, clock. Have, we have a minute and 15. I don't think you want to do that because oh, you're so close. Like at this point, it, at this point, it feels like he's comfortable enough going for the kill. Just like. Not, not like, like that. that. Wow, Key not actually closing the deal at 150. Yeah, that's a mix of a. Uh, uh, yeah, that's a Kalos blast zones coming in clutch right there, and good DI from VV. But ooh, this is t uh, tense. I feel like VV's kind of just fishing for some hero magic, and it can happen. That was on deck. Gonna give some time to menu potentially. He's finding some heals, but at this point, I don't know if healing is going to help you that much. It might lead to you surviving one more hit, but you need to make something big happen here. Sinji's at a hundred. Sinji's only at 57%. 30 seconds on the clock. Yeah, and look at this. Oh, that orange almost might have done it. 212. He's surviving. He needs some one of those big. Oh. Yeah, not even going to find it. Eventually dropping to the hydrant. Yeah, and that's the thing with that timeout situation is. Vivi can't do what's so strong in this matchup, which is menu over and over. Yeah. Let Pac-Man give you space to get those spells. You have 20 seconds left. Even if you get the world's best RNG, you simply just, like, you can't kill that fast. Um, so because of that, Vivi was forced to kind of play a bit more rushdown. And when you do that against Pac-Man, the odds that you don't get hit by a kill move at 200 for 20 seconds straight, very low. So that Hydrant finding um, finding Sinji, or finding Vivi, and what a good play from Sinji. I mean, got three stocks game one and just totally swapped yeah. how they were doing things. All right, now we're getting into this game three. The pick is actually small battlefield. What are your thoughts on this stage as the counter pick for VV? To be honest, um, I, I think it's just VV trying. I feel like if Sinji wasn't playing the way he was game two, VV wouldn't counter pick this. But I think um, VV's really aware that Sinji isn't going to let him get that free space. So instead, he's just going to close it out to rather um, to make it so uh, VV now can stop Sinji from stepping back and camping. Oof. But look at that. You know, I actually I'm loving the way that Sinji now is approaching the matchup with Zoo with a bounce in effect rather. Ooh, jeez. Um, that when bounces we just saw there, bounce came out and he just avoided him like the plague for like all 15 seconds or however long that move is uh, lasts for. He was just bouncing around. He's like, I'm not going to engage at all. I'm just my goal is to not get in. And then as soon as it dropped away, then he went back the way he wanted. Okay, and bounce on deck. Trying to, I think, hit him once so that, yeah, now you have to spend time recovering, get back on stage, and that's time bounces ticking away. Oh, and I don't think it's going to fade real soon. Yeah, look at that. Man, look at the percents right now. This is so neck and neck. Sinji actually finding to, manage, managing to get a few hits here. Zoom once more. Oh, that trade working out terribly for Vivi. Oh, man, to roll back to center stage. That was very important. I could have, because I feel like in a matchup like this, when they're nickel and diamond each other so much, getting the first stock can be so crucial. Absolutely. Oh, I'm, look at the dashing back and forth with Sinji. Yeah, he's like being very careful, knowing that because he's missing, it's, it's, he just went from a, like a high tier character to a bottom tier character as soon as that, uh, 
as soon as that bounce comes online. And then he starts playing like a bottom tier character. As in, like, he's a lot more patient. He's a lot more careful about where he's picking his spots. Oh, oh. And, and no, what's one way to make yourself a top tier character in two seconds? It's give yourself accelerado speed. Able to run up from the and cross the entire stage on Sinji throwing that apple and be so fast to catch it and up tilt kill him. I mean, that's a strong move. Not only that, but he used the Accelerado at the end there to run away and get bounce. Find it with a few iterations, you know? So he managed to, like, there was like dual, it served uh, dual purpose. And chat, looks like we're in for a long game. So I have a challenge for you. Let's get $8 on the Maturino by the end of this game. I want to see if you can do it. Okay, we probably have four minutes left. So let's see. I've been waiting for this. <laughs> <laughs> he was the birthday oh, boy. Oh, look at that. We already got 20 cents. Thank you. Hey. Thank you, kind stranger. All right. Uh, and finally, <laughs> with four minutes on the clock, we are at two stocks apiece. Both these players, knowing how bad it can be if you give each other a free opening, playing so safe right here. Bounce on deck. Once again, seeing the same song and dance that we've seen probably a thousand times now. But can we get the Madrino to a thousand dollars? Oh man, the bounce expired and he immediately found it again. Yeah, this is really rough. And since Sinji is just behind by a tiny little bit, Vivi is more than comfortable, you know, really just power cycling through that down beat. Oh, but this could be a really big opening. Galaxian in hand, it could be so much damage, and damage is key right here. Let's see. Uh, both the players have been able to kind of roll the center stage and get away with, with it from ledge. We've seen it from both, and I wonder if they're saving punishing that towards the end. I could definitely see that. How, uh, ooh, ooh, that was scary. Look at this. All right, we got a dollar on the match, Reno, since I've said that. Thank you, everyone. We still have three minutes left in this match, so you know what? Let's get to 10. Let's be crazy. Look at that, 850. What is happening? Let's break some records here, people. Yeah, no, this is heating up right now. Thank you all so much for your support. Ooh. But this is the oh man, look at this. Both of them are in the red, but Sinji right now is actually at kill percent. And he needs to make back this damage differential. I'm loving the pressure, you know, opting not to go for jab three in order to just really mix VV up. And, oh. VV's been oh, getting a lot of cool. mileage from fairs. I think knowing Sinji has to do stuff like short hop fair and dash attack to box with Pac-Man, it's so cute. And while wow, catching that bell, honestly, probably bad because if the bell just yeah. reflected, it would have been a stun. Well, it also might have gotten reflected at a weird angle. Maybe, yeah. But um, but still. These zooms have been so good for Vivi. And then finally, eventually, the up throw is going to be taking it. And now, if you are Sinji, this is looking very grim. Only two minutes on the clock at 130%. Vivi, you know, he has Accelerado. It's hard to catch him. And now, you never know when he might just bust out the bounce and remove all of your kill options. Yeah, right now, Vivi's just looking for like one hit to swat uh, Sinji away, and then boom, charge, bounce, get so strong. We reached $10. Thank you, everyone. And this game's not over yet. This game's not over yet. With another bounce on deck, we're going to be here for a little bit longer, but this honestly could end pretty soon. <gasps> what a for down air. Sinji? <laughs> Sinji had been going for that so often, and every time before that, he got punished. He like got caught in the cyclone and took a bunch of damage. But right here in game three, when it matters the most, comes in clutch. We have a minute 30 on the clock. Bounce on uh, VV means it's going to be a lot harder for Sinji to get things started. And early on, his approach to bounce was just waited out. But we are too... We're too deep in the clock for that to really be a viable strategy for Sinji anymore. Yeah, right here, you gotta be thinking, if you're Sinji, what do you do? Because Vivi has not oh. only the uh, previous uh, Accelerado speed, um, you also just have the ability to get bounces and jump away, and you gotta just be so on point, Ooh. like he is right now, Ooh. 76%. Ooh, that was so good. Is that gonna do it, though? He's no. alive, and a minute left. Oh. oh my god. And this is scary right here. Is this, oh. was that Psych, uh, I think Psych Up's on Hero, so you cannot get touched once. VV fishing for that up oh, tilt. And it expires once it hits Sinji's shield. This is really big moment for Sinji. Only about 20% separating them. And we are in fact, <laughs> we are in fact at the oh, close to 30 second range. Once more he's oh. around, it's still oh. enough to do it. Vivi wow. standing up. What a tense end to that game. But both that two Psych Up up throws gonna take the last two stocks for Vivi's Hero. 
I mean, that was such good adaptation from Sinji after game one. And it showed Vivi just switching up styles once again, not knowing that what worked in game one did not work in game three. And instead, playing, yeah. uh, playing pretty differently in game three and managing to take it in what an extremely tense yeah. set. But I, at the same time, I think that a big part of Sinji's adaptations required the clock in order for him to really do it. And then at the end there, as things got more and more down to the wire, he had to play more risky. He had to scrap while bounce was in effect. So uh, it, definitely it's the ma it's the kind of matchup where a lead matters so, so much. And once Vivi took it, you know, it was very dicey here. I mean, both of these guys were at kill percent, but yep. <laughs> and that was it. The psych up up throw that almost didn't kill, but it was just barely enough. Good stuff to uh, to Vivi going to be moving on in uh, the winner's bracket. Did he did he move on to winner semis for that? I believe so. There yeah. was quarters. Okay. And 